Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful to be here together with you today. What a blessing to be back here at Believers Fellowship again. Pastor Romano and I are good friends since 12 years back. And I, and I said we're getting younger and younger. <laughs> At least we're getting stronger and stronger in the Lord. It's a great joy to have friends like them. And I'm so happy for the fellowship we have. We, we don't meet that often. When we meet, it's a wonderful time of strengthening our faith together and celebrating what the Lord is doing. I'm so thankful that I get to do what I do. I tell our students on our Bible school that you don't have to serve the Lord you get to. You can choose not to serve the Lord. You can choose not to serve the Lord. But you get to serve the Lord. It's a great opportunity. That we already now by faith in Jesus can celebrate and honor God that we are redeemed that we belong to God that we are new creations in Christ Jesus aren't you, aren't you happy that all things have passed away and behold and look everything is new you are a new creation and maybe you're not here and you're not yet a new creation. That's not a problem. You can become a new creation today. Because, because everything is prepared. When Jesus was hanging on the cross, he said, It is finished. You can receive, you can appropriate what Jesus has already done for you. And you can belong to the new creation. Here and now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so happy to see you. Ah, I can see your wonderful smiling faces. How are you doing in the back? Are you happy? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am happy. God's word says rejoice in the Lord always. Maybe you are going to, through some tests and trials right now. But you can still rejoice. Because your Redeemer is alive. And he is doing well. He is on the right hand of the Father. And we expect his return. Meanwhile, we, will, we will celebrate we will honor his name we will confess his name and we will confess his promises as we walk by faith and not by sight we know that we know that we know that Jesus is alive Hallelujah. 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 Today, I will preach a very well-known message. I wouldn't be surprised if you've heard this message many times. But I felt led by the Holy Spirit. When I came into Sri Lanka, I felt led to speak this message. I think you need this. 
man hithana meka obata thawashyai kiya i need this mata thawashyai and i think it has the power eka thamai balaya this message has a power me panimide tula balaya to change your life obe jeevithaya wenas wenna to change your situation obe tattwaya wenas wenna because it is the word of god manna me deva wachane and what i have seen of the word of god mama deva wachane tula dakina de it has the power to change your life to balaya tibena obe jeevithaya wenas karana it will not happen automatically It will not happen automatically. Eka ibe masidda wenne na ha. I've been preaching the gospel for many years. Boho vassara galanawakata mama subaranchaya deshana kara. The strange thing is that one person hear a message. Then putama de thamai ekkenek panimide asuma. And they expect. Eya ya bala poruttu wenne. They put their trust and their faith and their focus in Jesus. Eya ya ge vishwase adahinna yomu Yesu swanse mata tabana. And they receive revelation. Tpase ayata elidara u labena. In the word of God. Deva vachane tulin. And something changes in their life. own ge jeevitha wala yam wenasak siddha wenawa others e wage ma anitha who can hear the same message anitha ge jeevitha baluwama e ayata e panimidema labena e rasweema ema sitinawa and they don't receive anything namu town wedi yamak laba ganne na then meeka kohomada wenna puluwa they will speak a message then e ayata ave panimidema laba ganna about the crowd that was following jesus then yesus swahanse wa anugamane karala senaga there were many people there around jesus bohu senaga hitiya unwahanse ema ta namuth ekkene kitiya to touch jesus jesus swahanse wata gesu in a different way vena sakare because she had faith man the ata eda hilla tibuna she said at cutting kiwa only may touch him man oge saluwata ata gesu she had heard about jesus the ata kanata ehuna yesus swahanse gena she knew that jesus was healing the sick at ana gena sitiya yesus swahanse suwa karunawa kiyala roge inwa circulating that the blind eyes were open the kata kathawaku petara giya anda as sanipa una that the deaf ears were open bihiri kan asuna that the lame were what was what were walking karun evidda Even the rumors were spread that he was raising people from the dead. Then khata khata avagi mari chaya pawa me kena na kitawano. He set the lepers free. E vage ma la he cast rogin suwa karanawa. He casted out demons. Yakshaatma duru karanawa. And set people free. Manushya nidahas karanawa. And yet there were others in the surrounding of Jesus. Then Jesus vahan sege wate hiti anithaya. They liked his fame. Then me aya dana kamata ne vahan sege. They followed the crowd. Jana priyatwete ini sa unwahanse pasu pasu giya. Without understanding who he really was. Attadama ehema kalata un dana city da me mohu sabawata ma kawuda kiya. So but I believe. Namut mang vishwasa karanawa. that you are people of faith here tonight o pahata ratri sitinne e adahille kene kadiyata i believe that you will stretch out your faith here tonight mama vishwasa karana ada dawase obe adahille oba diku karala and receive from jesus yesu swahanse gen laba ganiwi kiya because everything is a done deal already mokada hamma deyakma me wenna vita jesus died for your sins yesu swahanse obe paape wenu en miya giya Jesus died for your sickness. Jesus swan se be rog he wenu en miya giya. Jesus took his curse your curse upon himself. Jesus swan se obe sha pe unwahanse batata. He carried your sins. Unwahanse ge obe pau daragata. He carried your curse. Obe sha pe daragata. He carried your sickness. Obe rog he daragata. And through daragata. his stripes you or he was like kasa para walin oba swai jesus took your pain jesus once obe vedanawa gatta when he died you died unwahanse miya giya mohote oba miya giya that means you live no more eken kiyawenna oba thawaduruta jeevath wanne naha just a few weeks ago i met a young lady sathi keepekata kalin taruna kaanthawak mata mona gessuna she's a, a missionary to afghanistan Afghanistan e city now missionary variyak She went there when when she was uh, 20 21 years old Vissa visi eke edi thamai e giye e because god called her Devi anwase aba kende uwa Afghanistan is not an easy place to work Afghanistan e kiyanne lesi tanak nemei sevaya karanna Not an easy place to make disciples Gole godana ganna lesi tanak nemei And the organization who sent her there requested that she should sign her signature on a document and then ava e ratata yawwa samvidhanen egen illa sitiya yam kisi liyawillakata atsan tabanna kiya and the, the she she signed as the signature would would uh, may, she would agree uh, with the organization that if something would happen to her if she she would be prisoned or if she would be killed she couldn't expect that they would help her ඉතින් මේ සංවිධානයේ මේ ලියවිල්ල සඳහන් කරලා තිබුණේ යම් කිසි අනතුරක් ඒ කියන්නේ ඔව් ඇව සිරබාරයට ගත්තොත් ඔය ඇගේ ජීවිතයට අනතුරක් වුණත් ඒකට සංවිධානය වග කියන්නේ නැහැ කියලා ඈ 
පිළිගන්නවා කියලා. And she said there was no problem. තැකි වයක මට ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ. I signed it. මම ඒක අස්සම් කරන්නම්. Because I am not alive. මොකද මම දන්නවා. But I am not alive. මම ජීවතුන් අතර නැහැ කියලා. I died with Christ. මම ක්‍රිස්තු ශාසිත එක මිය ගිහිල්ලා තියෙනවා. මම දැනට මම මිය ගිය කෙනෙක්. So whatever happens to me I'm already dead in Christ. ඒක මට මොනවා වුණත් මම මේ වන විටත් මිය මිය ගිය කෙනෙක්. But if you died with Christ නමුත් ක්‍රිස්තු ශාසිත තුල මම මිය ගියහම You also belong to the resurrection of Christ. ඒ වගේම අපි ක්‍රිස්තු ශාසක නැවත නැගිටීමට සම්බන්ධයි. Her death Jesus death was her death away from her whole life. Jesus වහන්සේ ගේ මරණය ඇගේ පරණ ජීවිතයේ මරණය බවට පත් වුණා. But also then the resurrection of Jesus was her resurrect resurrection into new life. ඒ වගේම Jesus ක්‍රිස්තු ශාසක නැවත නැගිටීම ඇගේ අලු ජීවිතයේ නැවත නැගිටීමක් හැටියට තිබුණා. She had found true life. ඇය අලු ජීවිතයකට ඇතුළු වී තිබෙනවා. She had no fear. ඇයට කිසි බියක් නැහැ. Of death. මරණයට. She had no fear of suffering. දුක් වෙන්න ඇයට කිසි බියක් නැහැ. If persecution would come. පීඩා වල් ඒවි. If we read in the scripture, we can see that Paul was persecuted. පාවුල් තුමා පවල් ඊවිලට අනුව පීඩා වල් වලට මුණ දුන්නා. They persecuted the disciples. ඔයගොල්ලන්ටත් පීඩා කළා. And it seems in in Acts that that was the normal life almost. ක්‍රියා පොතේ ගත්තා මේක සාමාන්‍ය ජීවිතයක් ජීවිතයක් හැටියටයි තිබුණේ. They didn't care. ඒක උන්ට ප්‍රශ්නයක් වුණේ නැහැ. They were dead. ඕන් දැනට ඒ වන විට මිය ගිය හැටියට හැටියට ඇයි සිටි ක්‍රිස්තු වහන්සේ තුල මිය ගියා ඔව් I who live but Christ lives in me තව දුරටත් මා නොව ක්‍රිස්තු වහන්සේ මා තුල ජීවත් වෙයි Jesus Christ lives in you ක්‍රිස්තු වහන්සේ ඔබ තුල you are a part of the new creation ජීවත් වෙයි hallelujah 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 so listen to god's word ඔබ දේව වචනයට හැම කම්දෙන්ම we reading from the gospel of mark mark පොතේ chapter 5 පස්වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදයේ and we're getting into the middle of the story අපි මේ කතාවේ මැද තමයි අපි කියවන්න යන්නේ. Jesus was had crossed over uh, the sea in a boat. He comes to the other side and the great multitude gathered to to be with him as he was by the sea. This is verse 21. Chapter 5. මාක් 5:21 කියනවා යේසුස් වහන්සේ නැවත ඔරුවෙන් එකට වූ කල මහත් සමූහයක් උන්වහන්සේ ළඟට රැස් වූ වෝය. උන්වහන්සේද මුහුද ළඟ සිටි සේක. ඒ කල සින සරි. Verse 22. And behold one of the one of the rulers of the synagogue came Jairus by name. And when he saw Jesus he fell at his feet and begged him earnestly saying, My little daughter lies at point of death. Come and lay your hands on her that she may be healed and she will live. විසි දෙවෙනි පදේ කියනවා ඒ කල සිනගෝගේ මුලා දෑනින්ගෙන් කෙනෙක් වූ යයිරස් නම් තැමත් නැමැත්තෙක් ඇවිත් උන්වහන්සේ දැක උන්වහන්සේගේ පාමුල වැටි මගේ කුඩා දුව මරණාසන්නව සිටින්නිය ඇ සුවවි ජීවත් වන පිණිස ඔබ ඇවිත් ඇ පිට අත්‍යබුව මැනවයි උන්වහන්සේගෙන් බොහෝ සෙයින් ඉල්ලුවේය So Jesus went with him and the great multitude followed Jesus and thronged him. විසි හතර වෙනි පදේ උන්වහන්සේ ඔහු සමග වැඩිය සේක මහ සමූහයක්ද උන්වහන්සේට තෙරපෙමින් උන්වහන්සේ අනුව ගියෝය. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better but rather grow wor- grew worse. විසි පස්වෙනි පදේ කියනවා දොළොස් අවුරුද්දක් මහලේ රෝගය ඇතිව සිටි ස්ත්‍රීක නොයෙක් වෙදුන්ගෙන් බොහෝ දේ විඳ තමා සතු සියල්ල වියදම් කළ නමුත් කිසි ඵලක් නොලැබ වඩා අමාරුවට පැමිණ සිටියාය. When she heard about Jesus she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment for she said if i only may touch his clothes i shall be made well විසි හත්වෙනි පදේ කියනවා ඔය යේසස් වහන්සේ ගැන ආසා සමූහය අතරෙන් පස්සෙන් නැවිත් උන්වහන්සේගේ සළුවට අත ගැසුවාය මක් නිසාද උන්වහන්සේගේ වස්ත්‍ර වලට පමණවත් අත ගැසුවොත් මට සුවය ලැබේ යයි ඇ කීවාය And immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of her 
of the affliction. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? Sinamaya, Ekene Hima, Egele Dharava Vialigos, Epida Ven at a Suya Labu Baba, Ege Shari Retulehi at a Danunea, Ekene Hima Yesus Wahanse, Taman Keren Nikutwana, Anu Baba, Pitavi Baba Dana, Samuha Madahari, Mage Vastavalata Atagasue, Kau Dei, Asu Seker. But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. They then by a we will let me have it on one seat in a betty some poor net on one seat a key wire and he said to her daughter your faith has made you well go in peace and be healed of your affliction this other on one said the any any no me at the hill no bus work a layer some are done in goes no be pee darwin so a part for sitting a at a key seeker this is a powerful story. This lady, she had heard about Jesus. The rumors had gone out about Jesus. And she probably, this doesn't say, but she's probably started to think. She was probably pondering, thinking about this, who is this Jesus? Can I trust the rumors? Or maybe she'd even been in one of Jesus' meetings and seen some of the miracles. We don't know. But we know one thing because the scripture says that she heard about Jesus. She must have heard that he was a healer. They, she must have heard that the rumors went out that maybe this man is the Messiah, the anointed king that we're waiting for. And maybe she, this rumors or these sayings, or even maybe she'd heard teaching from Jesus. I'm not sure, but at least she'd heard about Jesus. You see, what you hear is very important. If what do you listen to? If, if, you, if you hear the gospel, if you really listen to the gospel, which is the good news of Jesus, something will happen to you. Faith will come into your heart. You have been given the measure of faith from God as you hear the gospel. Then you can either decide, yes, I, I will accept this. I want to know more. I want to get closer to Jesus by receiving more revelation about Jesus. This lady, she had heard about Jesus. This made her take action. Because she had a great problem in her life. She was extremely sick. 
She had had a flow of blood for 12 years. Maybe, this, maybe in our culture here in Sri Lanka or in Sweden where I'm from, that's not such a big issue. But living in the Jewish community at that time, if you had the flow of blood, you were not allowed to be among people. Then Lanka we have Sweden, right? I got them. I mean, then what? Am I going to get them? Because local people are not even at one call. I got them. You do Sanskrit. I know. I'm even in the Akuna. I'm going to have a good. Then I got the rest. It's not. So it's not like that. You were looked upon being an unclean person. Apart from that, what did I have? I'm not. I'm not with the Akuna. I'm not here. That means you were socially. You had a social exclusion. You were not. You could not be around among family, friends. You could not be in the community. Samajayan ma, obava konnu nu kaantha va kheti tai sitin ne. Sam paule atre ho, samaje atre, obata sitin ta avasaran hai. So she was socially excluded outside the society. Then samajayan eva ivat kala vo putkane kheti tai sitin. Not only being severely sick. Then tha thada barava rogi va sitin apa banak nove. She couldn't be a part of family friends. उटकार It only made her worse. And now, what may be in Kisi Upakar ya kune na enna enna thatve darunu na. And as long as she could pay, then at given na puluan thakal. The doctor says welcome. Why the varu na eva pili gatta? But when there were no money left, now what they get? Ate Kisi ya Kisi ba kitoru na u na ham. No doctor would receive her. Kisi ma why the varu ek watte eva pili gani na? I believe she was in a very desperate situation. Mang vishwasa karna vidhi rei tam thadbal avashita ave ka sitiya wo kenek. She heard about Jesus. At a yes, as one again, as and decided to go and meet Jesus. At the end, a gatta gila yes, as one say, humble we know. She said, at a makia gatta. If I may only touch his clothes, mama, oh, oh, ye salu ata wat ata ke suot. I shall be made well. Mata soya labaga na puluan. And Jesus was not. Aware of her faith at that time, the even a quarter Jesus was saying, "But then what did I do?" He was not aware of that there was a woman. We don't know if she was crawling on her knees because this was very crowded. Maybe he pu she pushed herself through. Then Jesus was saying, "I have a calling. Then what did I do?" Then I'm going to send a guy to the Samarita. Be my bad guy. Then I'm going to send a guy to the Samarita. Be my bad guy. Then I'm going to send a guy to the Samarita. From behind. पिटी पासिंग तालु करके नहीं आ रही थी। She didn't come from the front। ऐ इस रहें ना अभी ना। She sneaked in from behind। ऐ पिटी पासिंग तमाई नहीं कहाँ ऐ तुलटे तालु करके ना गिए। And if somebody have known her problem with the bleeding, then, there was a big risk there will be a severe punishment। Then काऊर हरी देना गत्ता ना ऐ तो तीव्र में लेता आ रहा है क्या ना विशाल धनुओं मा लोग को अब तो अनुमा करके ना ये में दे करंट ऐ तुलने। But instead of fear, namut baya vena va venu ata. For what people would say or do to her. Kauru hari manushyan mata monada karani kia ni kia ni gat baya venu va venu ata. She decided to believe. At tirne agat atahan. There is only one thing. Ekka dayi tru elati. Only one focus. Ekka yomuai. I need to touch Jesus. Jesus swahan seeta mang va atagasan nai mata ona karani. So she spoke. Tiga kata gala. A word. She said, "If I only can touch him, Mata Puluan na unuhan sa kisalwa tata kasan na, I will be healed." Mansuay la baga na. So she came from behind. Iti nga piti pa sa ngawa. And she stretched out her hand. Agi ata digo kala. And touched his garment. Yes, unuhan sa kisalwa elwa. And the scripture says that immediately. Bliya bili wala kyan ni? Ika nehim. Not five hours later. Paya pa hagat pa sa nemi. Immediately. Eke nehi ma. That means in Greek immediately. Then Greek ba sa venut 
In Swedish it means immediately. And I'm sure in Singhala it means immediately. And if you speak Tamil, I'm sure it means immediately. That means now, here, not in five years, hopefully, but now, immediately. You, know, you see that day there was a lot of people walking around Jesus. It says they were thronging Jesus, meaning pushing him. <laughs> if you have been in the Middle East, you will understand what this means. I've been in uh, Northern Africa, I've been in Israel, I've been uh, you know, among Middle East people. And it's it's loud and noisy. I think Mama Gihinti no Israel and Devaga Madapera di Caprica at the Tama Senaga Goda Goda Ekata Rasmino. They are not as polite as in Sri Lanka. They are known Lanka way, Ayavagi, Nikang, me, Pilivana Tagadakarno, and me. Where people say, Stand, they st stand very nice and say, Hello, 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 welcome, welcome. That's real Sri Lanka, Harivini, Thai. Think Hamotam Harividia Sukupatana. They're loud and noise and they're pushing and shouting. So, so I believe they were extremely tight on Jesus. In English you would say up in his face. Close, shoulder to shoulder. Touching Jesus. Thronging, pushing. It was sweaty and noisy and dusty. And it was smelling. And it was smelling. And there was this lady. And she said, I must touch Jesus. I mean, there was a lot of people touching Jesus. But she said, she spoke, she confessed, if I only may touch him. What were the other people thinking? The disciples probably, they were dreaming. Oh, when Jesus is sitting on the throne in Jerusalem, I will be on the right. And John was thinking, well, I want to be on the left maybe. And Peter, he was thinking about his next meal, what to eat. And Thomas, he was doubting and thinking, oh, oh, all these people, all think about everything that can go wrong here. And Matthew was thinking, this, I could collect a lot of taxes here, maybe. Should we pick up an offering? And Simon the Solot, he, Selot, he thought, you know, I mean, wonder if there are some Romans here. <laughs> Simon the Selot, he thought, maybe there are some Romans here that I can put my hands on. And the rest of the people, what were they thinking that day? I think they were there for many reasons. Some might even not know what was going on. They saw it was a great multitude. And some might, thought, might have been thinking, maybe there is a party on the way. We don't know. But I think people were there for many reasons. And maybe some were there. Because they heard about this famous Jesus from Nazareth. And they wanted to take a selfie with him. 
Others were there because they had no bread at home and they thought maybe we can get some bread from this Jesus. And maybe even some fish, yes. They were there for many reasons. But there was one lady. She said, because she had heard about Jesus, if I only get to touch his garment, I will be healed. I will be healed. She had one focus. She wanted to receive something from Jesus. That was very specifically in her case. So she came from behind. In a dusty, dirty, sweaty, smelling situation. Allowed crowd of Middle East people. Noisy. Pushing. Shoving. And we don't know how long she spent to push herself through. And maybe the rumors went out Jesus has talked to Jairus. He is going to heal the daughter of Jairus. And the rumors went out. Let's come and see what will happen at Jairus' place. And the disciples, they were also probably somewhere else in their mind. Like but one lady, she was present in her thought, in her confession, and in her, in her act of faith. She touched Jesus from behind. And immediately when she touched the flow, dried up. Blood. She was instantly healed. Then it says that Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power went out of him, he turned around in the crowd. To see who had touched him. And she, he turned to Peter or to Andrew or to James, we don't know whom, but one of the disciples said, Who touched me? Petrus And the disciples they said, <laughs> Who touched you, Jesus? Everyone is touching you. It is sweaty, dirty, and dusty. And they are pushing us here and they are pushing us there. Have you ever been in a big crowd? Once uh, we were preaching the gospel in northeastern India. And there were so many miracles. And it was raining. And it was a lot of, the, the dust became mud. And I went down from the platform. Big mistake. <laughs> and, and I stretch out my hand. <laughs> and somebody pulled my hand. <laughs> and they pulled me out in the crowd. <laughs> and I was strong, pushed. <laughs> and they touched all over my body. <laughs> I have mud up here. <laughs> I finally made, made a swim out of the people. <laughs> and I came up on the platform. And I said, Poof. 
ඊට පස්සේ මම ලොකු හුස්මක් ගත්තා ඊට පස්සේ මගේ සාක්කුව ඩාක්ටර් I was not in control. And when I think about this story, I think it was like this. They were pushing, shoving, you know. Strongly. And yet there was one woman. She was there for a very clear reason. I have a great problem. I'm so sick. She said. However, I have heard about Jesus. I know that he is a healer. I heard the rumors that he is the son of God. I heard that he is Messiah. And I believe that, that, his, that, that by touching him, I will be healed. So in this pushy, thronging, smelly crowd. Among all the people that touched Jesus this day. Jesus felt immediately. Somebody touched me. No one understood the disciples, they were not present. They didn't recognize anything. Only two people in the crowd. Jesus, Jesus and the woman. Because she touched Jesus in a different way. And even without Jesus knowing, then we Jesus because obviously when we read, he did not know who touched him. He just felt that power went out of him. So he looked around, he turned around in this smelly, noisy, dusty crowd of loud people. And said, who touched me? But the woman, fearing and trembling of what have happened to her. Came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Be healed of your affliction. Can you imagine the grace of God? Jesus didn't even know who she was. But her faith, her trust, her rely on that Jesus could heal her would heal her, release power from Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, she had up to this point, she had tried everything. Everything that the world could offer when it came to physicians and doctors. Her, her life was in a ruin. She was not only sick, she was also poor because she used all her money to spend on the worldly doctors who couldn't help her. She was, she was socially excluded. 
विश्वास in the midst of all these people sielu senaga madde changed her life ekama tamai age jeevithaya wenas kale forever sadahatama and 2000 years later almost then aurudu dedahakata pasuwath we still read the story api thawmath me kathawa kiyawana and we are amazed of this woman me kaanthawa gena api pudume balana maybe you have come here today now ba me sthane denne athi and you wonder can can i get help ඔබ හිතන්නේ නැති පුළුවන්ද මට උදව්වක් ලබා ගන්න can something help someone help me පුළුවන්ද කාට හරි මට උදව් කරන්න maybe you been to many doctors සමහර විට ඔබ බොහෝ දොස්තරවරුන් ළඟට ගිහිල්ලා ඇති counselors උපදෙස් ගන්න යන්න ඇති mentors ඔබට ඔබව ගොඩනගන මිනිස්යන් ළඟට ඔබ ගොඩනගන අය ළඟට යන්න ඇති psychiatrists නැත්තම් මානසික වෛද්‍යවරුන් ළඟට යන්න ඇති. Maybe you spent a lot of money. බොහෝ මුදල් මේවට ඔබ වියදම් කරලා ඇති. But it has not helped you. මේ එකක්වත් නමුත් ඔබට උදව් වෙලා නැහැ. Maybe you even worse off today than 10 years ago. දැන් අවුරුදු 10කට කලින් හිටියට වඩා තව අන්ත තත්ත්වයට ඔබ පත් වෙලා ඇති. I have good news for you. නමුත් මට තිබෙනවා ඔබට යහපත් ආරංචියක් දෙන්න. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. Jesus වහන්සේ ඊයේ adat hetat sadahatama eka wage you see we read this story that is 2000 years old dan api me kathawa kiyana kota avurudu dedak parana kathawak meka and we can respond to it differently namuth apita meka wenas vidiyakata mekata pratichara dakwanna puluwan we can question it and say can this really happen today apita prashna karanna puluwan me wage deyak ada dawase wenna puluwanda is god still doing miracles today for jesus me wage jesus son se tulin dewyan wase haas kam karanawada or is it just another story natta meka nikama nikan tawat kathawakda or is it the truth natta meka satyakda I believe is the truth. Mang vishwas karana wa meka satyak. Because Jesus is the same. Mokoda Jesus wahanse yesterday, yet today, adat and forever. Sada hata ba? So we just read this story about this lady touching Jesus in faith. Ekin dang api me kaanta wa Jesus wahanse wa adahileng atagasana vidiya api kiyawa. What about you that are here today? Dada dawa se oba gena kohomada. What is your need? Kumak to obi hamashita wa. What do you need from Jesus? Mokhatto bata Jesus swahanse gen awashya karanne. Because well, no matter what your problem is, Jesus is greater than your problem. E thing e prashne kumak unat kamanna Jesus swahanse prashne ta wada bishala wasa. Believing you will receive. Oba ta labenawa kiyala oba vishwasa karanne. Your faith karana. has made you well. Obe adahinna yobawa sampurna karanne. Your faith has saved you. Obe adahinna yobawa gane we. Set you free. Obawa nidahas kale. Delivered you. Obawa midahwe. I don't know what your challenge is right now. Da 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 wase obe abiyoga monawada kiyala mama danne. Maybe you have hurts in your life, maybe you have addictions. Maybe you have unforgiveness in your life. Samara vito bage jeevithe sitri dim tiyenawa wenna puluwan. Abai vim tibenawa wenna puluwan thang samawa nodim tibenawa wenna puluwan. Maybe you cannot forgive yourself. Samara vito obata obata ma samawa denna beru inna wathi. Maybe your problem when you came into this meeting today is physically. Samara vito abu dawase oba me resvimata aapu obe prashnaya bauthika prashnayak wenna puluwan. Maybe it's emotionally. Nattam manasika prashnayak wenna puluwan. Maybe it's mentally. නැත්තම් හැඟීම් සම්බන්ධ ප්‍රශ්නයක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. Or maybe it's spiritually. නැත්තම් ආත්මික ප්‍රශ්නයක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. Or everything mentioned. නැත්තම් මේ හැම හැම ප්‍රශ්නයක් මේ ප්‍රශ්නවලම එකතුවක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. Maybe you tried everything. හැම දෙයක්ම ඔබ කරලා උත්සාහ කරලා බලන්න ඇති. But nothing has helped you to this point. නමුත් මේ මොහොත වෙනකොට කිසිම උපකාරයක් ඔබට වෙලා නැහැ. Maybe you're even worse. තිබුණාට වඩා අන්ත වෙලාත් ඇති. And you say how can this story about Jesus really help me? I think oba palai me wage Jesus wahanse gena kathawakata kohomada mata udaw karanna puluwan. Preacher this was a nice story. Deshaka yanne me kathawa nan hari lassanai. It even made me laugh. Ekata mata hondata hina giya. 
but can jesus really help me today namut attata ma jesus wanseta puluwan da dawase mata udaw karanna let me tell you about jesus man kiyanna obata jesus wanse gena what i saw him do just two months ago maasa dekakata kalin unwanse karapu deyak mama dekala man obata this is a testimony meka saakshya i even have photos and videos of this me sambandhava video pata saha chaya rupa malanga tibenawa I was preaching the gospel in Ethiopia. Ethiopia ave ma subaranche deshana karamin sitia. In the city of Jabalo. Jabalo m kiyana nagare. This is south in Ethiopia. Meka Ethiopia ave dakunu palata. North eastern part of Africa called the Horn of Africa. Africa ave gattama uturu palata uturu nagene hira palata. And we were preaching the, we were preaching the gospel there. E sthane tamai api subaranche deshana karamin sitie. and in that crowd e senaga madde thousands of people dahas galang senaga madde around 20000 people came visi panda kage senaga paminiya there was one lady ekka kaantawak sitiya her name is elema elema kiyanau namak etiwa elema had two big problems in her life age jeevithaye prashna dekak tibuna lokku prashna she had the same problem as this woman that we were reading about dan me api kiyapu kathawe kiyapu kaantawage prashna tibuna for 13 years avurudu daha tunak she had been bleeding atat e vidiyarama le darawa galagena yanawa but not only that e prashne vitarak neme she had problem to keep her 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 urine she it was continually pouring out of her ele darawa vitarak neme mutra pawa age sharireng nokhadawa gala yanawa blood and urine in a mix le saha mutra 13 long years avurudu 13 wage digu kaalayak she was somewhere in the crowd da me senaga athare tana koyari tana ka asidiya i didn't see her mama eva dakkine i never shook her hand man eyata athrata dunnet ne i never even laid my hand and prayed for her eyata athata bala mama yak nya kalet ne i was speaking the gospel of jesus christ mama kale jesus christ so swahanse ge subaranchya deshana kirimai the same way that i'm speaking the gospel of jesus christ to you here today then ada davase ma oba idiriye christ swahanse ge subaranchya deshana karanna same she heard the gospel eh subaranchya aswa and i told the people man senagata kiwa have faith in jesus jesus swahanse kere When Jesus died. Jesus was in my gear. He took your sin. Obey pape gatta. When Jesus died. Jesus was in my gear. He took your curse. Obey shape gatta. When Jesus died. Jesus was in my gear. He took your sickness. Obey rogat gatta. When Jesus died. Jesus was in my gear. He died for you. Oba uddesama. Through his stripes you are healed. Mahanse ke kasa pahara valin oba suai. and the lema me lema kena kaantawa in the back of the crowd piti passe city senaga piti passe as we prayed api aakna kala mohote i asked the people to lift up their hands man illa sitiya senaga ta atto samanna and she lifted up her hands e ata esu wewa and she said jesus akiwa yesu ni tonight is my night me ratriya mage ratriyai I believe. Man vishwas karana. You died for me. Oba man utsa miya giya. You took my curse. Oba mage shape gatta. You took my pain. Oba mage vedana gatta. You took my sickness. Oba mage rogya gatta. You took my sin. Oba mage paape gatta. When you were crucified. Oba crucified vu mohote. I was crucified. Mama crucified tuna. You paid the price for me. Man ude saba miliya gewa. She believed. Ha vishwas kala. And immediately. Ivale ma the power of jesus touched her body jesus swahanse ge balaya age sharireta ata gesuwa the blood flow stopped the blood flow stopped e le darawa natara wuna the flow of urine stopped mutra galana darawa natara wuna she talked to her daughter who was with her she talked to her daughter that was samaga sitiya diyaniyata e katha kala she said i believe something has happened akiwa mata therena ma vishwasa karana mata yamak una i asked the people to come and give their testimony mang e welawe enna kiwa isarahata saakshi peda ganna but the lema walked home me kaantawa gedara giya but she because she wanted to be 100% sure manda eta ona kama tibune meka 100% yak ma isthira kara ganna that she was healed as why kiyana ka 24 hours later she got healed 
on a Friday. Saturday she came to the gospel meeting. She came up on the platform. And she said, I need to tell my story. And she had her daughter with her. So she shared her story. And she said, now the past 24 hours, something has happened that has never been happening for 13 years. I am not bleeding. And I went to the bathroom to Mama. pee one time in 24 hours. This has never happened for 13 years. And I asked her daughter through the translator what, what your mother is saying is this true? And she said yes. I am the one who has been taking Mama to all these doctors. Mama has been so weak. Mama has been so weak. Mama has been so sick. We have carried her. We have helped her. We spent a lot of money. And now my Mama is healed. Hallelujah. So what, yeah, let's give Jesus a big applause. Mm -hmm. And as I was standing there with Elema, I felt so thankful. And I thought about this story. 2,000 years old. And I was standing there with Elema. And I'm thinking, I get to experience this now. A big multitude. Pushing, thronging. Smelly, dirty. In, in southern part of Ethiopia. Ethiopia, a lady with the issue of blood for 13 years. Healed by the power of Jesus. So when I say Jesus is the same yesterday, today, now, here, it's not a, a nice story only. I can testify I believe it. I have seen it. Therefore, there is hope for you. No matter what the doctors have said. No matter what the psychiatrists have said. No matter what counselors have said. Maybe you have given up. Maybe they have given up on you. Maybe all your money has been finished. Have faith in Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the deliverer. Don't expect anything from Michael Bowman. I'm only the Michael messenger. Stretch towards Jesus. Say, yes, Jesus. If the lady in the Bible could touch your clothes. If Elema in Ethiopia could stretch out her faith. And grab on the healing that belonged to her. Because Jesus paid for it in full. And he paid for, for you in full. Your spirit, your soul and your body. When Jesus was beaten. When Jesus was bruised. He did it for you. 
Through his stripes you are healed. When Jesus was crucified, when he was nailed to the cross, it was your sin that he carried on the cross. It was your sickness that he took upon himself. Every, who, he who is nailed on tree is a curse according to to what the Old Testament teaches. He took your curse. It's paid in full. The holy blood of Jesus was shed for you. Your sins are forgiven. You are paid for in full. What Jesus did is was for you here and now. So how can you appropriate what Jesus has already done for you? Faith. What is faith? It's trusting in the grace of God. What is grace? Grace is what God has already done for you. Through Jesus Christ. You don't deserve it. It is an act of love and grace. So how do you appropriate the grace of God? It's called faith. Trusting in what Jesus already have done for you. It's, it's not that you're going to be healed someday. You have already been healed on the day that Jesus was crucified. Through his stripes, you are healed. Through his stripes, I am healed. It's paid in full. Not 50%. 100%. If you can believe, all things are possible. You see, you are created to believe. You are exactly in the same position as the lady in Mark 5. You're exactly in the same position that Alema in Ethiopia. You're a man or a woman. You're created by God. And he has placed a, a, a measure of faith in you. You see, you can believe. Believing is not difficult. It is to relax. But at the end, we will say, Jesus, I receive what you paid for me in full on the cross. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Healing belongs to you. You're a child of God. If you're not the child of God, we will take care of that in a few minutes. Because maybe you're here today. And maybe some friends invited you. And they said, you come to this and see this tall Swedish evangelist. And maybe you're here. And you are not the follower of Jesus. But right now, I will ask you, all of you that are here, close your eyes and let us just pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for the wonderful people that are here today. Every person here is valuable. Everyone you paid for in full. For their spirit, soul, and body. You purchased people from every tribe, 
and language and nationality with, your, with the precious blood of Jesus. Everyone in this room is bought with the precious blood of Jesus. And Lord, I pray Oh God, my Father, that you will give people here a spirit of revelation and understand to get the right knowledge about you. I pray hearts to be open so that they can believe and receive here today. In Jesus' name. Jesus can amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You can open your eyes. I want to ask here, is there anyone here who wants to follow Jesus, to believe in him and say, yes, Jesus is my Savior. Yes, Jesus is my Lord. If you are here today and you are not saved, you are not a follower of Jesus, I want to encourage you to start to follow Jesus. Confess your sin. Repent. And start to follow Jesus. If you're here and you say, I want, to be, I want to follow Jesus, I want to be saved, I want Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. Jesus is God who came in the flesh, Jesus is God who became a man. Jesus is the Lord of this, of this, of this whole creation. He's the King of Kings and He's your Savior. You see, no religion can save you. No guru can save you. No meditation can save you. There is only one. And his, name, his name is Jesus. The same Jesus that healed the woman in Mark 5. The same Jesus that healed Elema in Ethiopia. That same Jesus wants you to believe in him. And follow him. And live in relationship with him. If that's you, and you will say, I'm here, I want to follow Jesus, lift up your hand right now. I don't know you, some of you are recognized, but some of you are new faces to me. If you're here, lift up your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're here, lift up your hand. And we will pray together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, yes, we thank you for your goodness, for your love for us, for your willingness to sacrifice your life for us. When you died, we died with you. When you rose from the dead, we rose from the dead with you. It's no longer I who live, that, but Christ lives in me. So that I would glorify your life, so that my friends here will glorify your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And Lord Jesus, I thank you. That what you did in the lady in Mark chapter 5, what you did in Elema's life in Ethiopia two months ago. You can do and you also want to do here. I want to ask you that are here. If you're sick in your body. I want you to receive a miracle from Jesus here today. It is possible. Because Jesus made it possible. I, I, have, I have seen this over and over again for the past 30 years. You see, the gospel that I'm preaching to you, it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes. Make a decision here today. Believe. Put your trust and your faith in Jesus. That Jesus died for you. That Jesus took your pain. That Jesus took your sickness and disease. Through his stripes you are healed. Tonight, this afternoon, can be your day, your night. You can stretch out in faith and receive from Jesus. You can appropriate what Jesus has already done for you. You see, your faith is not creating or making God do anything. God has already done it for you through Jesus Christ. Jesus has already done it for you. That is called an act of grace. Your response to that grace is called faith. When you say what you did for me, Jesus, it belongs to me, it's mine. You purchase it with your life, with your blood, with your sacrifice. You can believe. You can receive. You can appropriate what Jesus has already done for you. Here. In Sri Lanka. In Colombo. In the end of January of 2024. Because Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. So grab hold of what Jesus has already done for you. Faith is not about lifting yourself in the hair, in the hair, accomplish something. No. It's just receiving what Jesus has already done for you. So let us lift up our hands all over this place. And let us worship Jesus. Lord Jesus. Swami Yesuni. I have preached the good news here today. We, I love you, Jesus. And I thank you that I get to do this. I want to thank you, Jesus, that you healed the lady in Mark chapter 5. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you healed Elema two months ago in Ethiopia. And many other people that were was in that meeting. I thank you, Lord, for the two women that got healed Friday in Somerset outside of New Aurelia. 
And I thank you, Lord, for those people here that will receive their miracle tonight. What you did in Mark 5, Jesus, what you did in Ethiopia, what you did in Somerset, you also want to do and are able to do here. Because it's already paid for. On the cross. 2,000 years ago. Your blood was shed. You were beaten. You were bruised. And through your stripes. Through your wound. We are healed. And it belongs to the people that are here. I thank you, Lord, for, for this. So just stretch out your faith. Your trust in Jesus. And just say, thank you, Jesus, I receive it. If you are attacked by cancer, if you are attacked of arthritis, arthritis if you are attacked by asthma, asthma if you are attacked by flu, if you are attacked of pain, if you are attacked of, of toothache, I think there is somebody here with toothache. Right now, Jesus is healing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is called the world of knowledge. In the same meeting that Elema in Ethiopia got healed, I received the word of knowledge. The Spirit of God told me there is a man who's been in a car crash, his, his back was broken, now I'm healing him. And I called, called that out. And there was a man. He came up and gave his testimony. He said, the moment you, you told my story, and you said, Jesus is healing you now, he said, immediately at that point, it was gone. And my back was healed. Then Magi Peter Konda Swaikia. I remember a number of years ago I was preaching the gospel in Jasna. There was a wealthy woman in the crowd. She had been in the in the war. She had not been fighting, no. She lived in the, an area where, where they were shelling, they were shooting grenades. And she was in the crossfire. A grenade exploded. And shrapnel came into her body. She was from a rich family. They sent her to UK. And she underwent a lot of surgeries. And they, they took shrapnel out of her body. But one of the metal pieces was stuck in her spine. And the doctor said, if we remove this, you most certainly will be paralyzed for life. And they decided not to remove it. She came to the gospel festival in Jaffna. I didn't know about her. She stood there in the, in the front. And she was just praising Jesus. And all in a sudden she came up on the platform. And she told us this story. And she said, the shrapnel that was in my back. I, had, I, I couldn't bend my back. I had constantly pain for years. 
But tonight, when you called out the name of Jesus, Jesus wants again, Namia over Prakasha Kalama. Immediately the pain disappeared. And she did like this. She bent her back. And there, she said, I have no pain. There is, I don't know where the shrapnel is. It's not there anymore. How do you explain this? I, I, I can't do this. But Jesus, Jesus, he can even remove shrapnel that's been in the back for years. What the doctors in the UK, the specialists of all specialists, the most expensive doctors, could not heal and cure this woman. But Dr. Jesus, even though we didn't see him, I didn't see Jesus. She didn't see Jesus. She just said, I said, Jesus, help me. I believe in you. And he was gone. How do you explain that? You cannot. You can just say Jesus. And you that are here tonight, today, when I look upon you, you're beautiful. You're created into the image of God. You're loved by God. Healing belongs to you. It is yours. It's not that Jesus is going to do something. He's already done it. You are paid for fully. Fully. In full. You know what that means in Greek? 100% fully. You know what that means in Swedish? In full. In English? In full. In Tamil? In full. Sampurnim. In singala. Singale. In full. Sampurnim. Huh? Hari the. Receive. Obey kalabagan. Don't doubt. Obey sekagaran nepa. Believe. Badhan. You don't have to deserve it. Eka obey lavan na watinu wani. Oh, but you don't know what I have done. Well, you don't know what I have done in my past life. It's not about what you have done or not done. Stop being silly. It's all about what Jesus has done. 100% about Jesus. Oh, but you know, I uh, uh, don't uh uh. Just believe. Just know that Jesus loves you. Oh, but I'm not sure. Well, the proof is... What else can God do? man. Go from perfect heaven to dirty earth. Smelly people. Dusty roads. Sweaty men and women. Hatred. Lies. He could have stayed in heaven. And yet he chose to come and walk on earth and die for you. What else does he have to do? For me. Do I deserve it? Absolutely no. I have done nothing to deserve it. What about you? You have done nothing. I'm sorry. You cannot do squilch of extra to help Jesus. He, he loves, loves you. you. He loves you. 
he loves you and that is how god proved that he loved the world that he gave his life for us even when we were sinners ලංකාවේ <laughs> In many cases, you have to pay in advance. To get the merchandise. That's what Jesus did for you. He paid in advance. Even before you were born. He knew that you would come. He knew that you would be born. He knew that you would be born. He paid for you. And 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 you. In full. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's lift our hands. Lord Jesus. Swami Yesuni. I know that you are here. Because you have said that two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in our midst. And this, you live in me. And you live inside of every believer that is here. Your presence is within us. Your presence is surrounding us. Lord, we stretch out our faith towards you. Thank you, Lord, for helping my friends to receive by faith and appropriate what you have already done for them. In the name of Jesus, I command this toothache come out i command this flu come out i command this back pain come out in the name of jesus pitta konda vedanawata anakaranawa eliyata enna kela jesus ken amen in the name of jesus i command arthritis Come out. Depression. There is somebody with depression here. You, you've been in, in many sessions. People have tried to help you. Now Jesus is healing you. Actually, he did it 2,000 years ago. It, it is, it's just being manifested here and now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. There is a man here, you have, I don't know if you've broken your foot or there's something happened to your foot. Some years ago. Now Jesus, the power of Jesus is coming upon you. And you're healed now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody here, you have, I, I just get the word panc pancrea. 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 An inner organ, pancrea in English. Hallelujah. You're being healed right now. You, I don't know what's there. If it's cancer or just problems, pancrea. 
ප්‍රශ්න <laughs> Jesus ke naam mein. The name of Jesus. Jesus ke naam mein. In the name of Jesus. Jesus ke naam mein. So khoro bashi thoro do bo sele mandara la bahari iri amo so khoro na nandeya. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we play something? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, sambara dashi kiri anandeya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. You love the people here tonight so much. Everyone is so loved by you. I want you to stand up right now. I can sense the presence of God being manifested here. You know, sometimes we see the mani- we, we feel the manifestation of the power of God. And, and sometimes I don't feel it. You know, but still the presence of God is there within me all the time. The presence of God is, is within you all the time. I think some of you will have an encounter with Jesus here. Some of you that have gone through depression. There's some here that's gone through a financial breakdown. And, and I believe Jesus is saying, fear not. I am with you. Your financial situation will be restored. And you will have more than you had before. Because you have been faithful, you have been tithing, you have been giving sacrifice offerings. You have sown Therefore, you will also reap. What the enemy has tried to, to steal, you will receive back in bountifully reward from me. You will have a prosperous life. You will prosper in your spirit as your spirit is prospering. So your soul will prosper. Prosperity for your body means healing for your body. Somebody here have a problem with with one of your knees. Now. Then. The manifestation of Jesus' power is in your leg and you are healed. Just let's lift up our hands and just worship Jesus. I I want to encourage you to just think about Jesus. Take take, take a deep breath like this. And then you just say, Jesus. I want you to see the story that I just told you before your very eyes about the, the lady in Mark chapter 5. God has given you the power of uh, to imagine things, to see things. And right now there is a, there is a story going on. You can see the woman. I can see the woman. How she's she's crawling, walking, 
pushing herself through the crowd. And she's stretching out. And she gets hold of his garments. And power is being released. Wow. Right now, Jesus is touching you. Hallelujah. 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 You are blessed. The curse is broken. You have a new life. Because of the new covenant. The covenant with Jesus, with God through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is one said to Lynn Labuna we give you some the covenants was cut in the body of Jesus Jesus once again Shari re tama ye give you some kapu he both represent God and he represent man Jesus once a villa with the beyond man say what manu shavat nirupane kala a new covenant superior covenant was cut in Jesus it could a a lot give you some what said what Jesus once again Shari re a couple up and it belongs to you then you go but I think your soul will prosper obey your body will prosper hallelujah lift hallelujah. up your hands and just worship Jesus just forget everyone around you just look upon Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith hallelujah faith is Jesus faith in Jesus 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 carry at the hill faith is things hoped for the evidence of things not seen you can see it in the spirit just see it let the imagination that God has given you to see the fulfillment of God's promise for you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to ask here is anyone have you anyone have received who can say yes I've been healed here tonight if that's you lift up your hand anyone who say yes Jesus touched me did Jesus touch you lift you can take down your hands all of you and only those how many would say yes Jesus touched me here tonight if that's you lift up your hand yes I can see your hand Anyone else? Yes, God bless you. Yes, God bless you. God bless you and you and you and you and you and you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What happened with you in the back there? Lift your hand. What did Jesus do? Jesus financial miracle. What about you that lifted your hand in the back there, sir? Yes. Same. What about you, sir? Financial miracle, okay. Ah, yeah. What about you, ma'am? Knee. Hallelujah. How is your knee doing now? Is it good? No problem? How, how long was the problem? Quite a long time. Hallelujah. Jesus is doing miracle in Colombo. You know why? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. Hallelujah. Somebody else lifted your hand. Who else received it? Yes, sir. Back pain? What, and how do you feel now? 
Yeah, you can. I can see you can. Hallelujah. That's good. Give Jesus an applause. There was some, some lift, you, you lifting your hand. How long was the problem? Okay, it's all gone. Was somebody lifting your hand in the back? Yes, you in the pink. What happened? Ah, you are the toothache. Hallelujah. How long was the problem? Last night and now it disappeared. Hallelujah. There was somebody else lifting your hand. Yes. Toothache. You're healed also? No pain? Is the pain gone? No. No pain? No pain? How long was the problem? Three days. Two, three days. Hallelujah. 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 Now see your hand. What happened there? Knee pains. Right knee. For three months. How do you feel? Can you do like this? No problem. No pain. Lift up your hand if Jesus healed you. It was someone else. Yes? What? Yes. What happened? Finances. Hallelujah. There was some more people lifting your hands. I want to give Jesus glory. It's not about Michael Bowman. I have nothing to do with this. I'm just messenger. Yes. Light is a feather. That's good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, depression's gone in the name of Jesus. No, you lifted your hand? No. Maybe I was, I was a mistake. Somebody. Yes. So pain for how long? One month? Two months? Two months. Two months. And it disappeared. Yeah. No pain now? Yeah. It's gone. Hallelujah. But Thank you, Jesus. There was some more lifting your hands. I just want to give an opportunity to glorify Jesus. See, Jesus is alive. He loves you. Let's lift up our hand one more time. I, I sense there is something more that needs to happen here. Hallelujah. 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 I just get the word heartache. heartache. I don't know if it's physically or you've gone through something that you, your heart has been broken. And Jesus says forgive. Forgive. And bless. That's the only way. Even if me, people mistreat us, forgive and bless. Even though if they mistreated you, forgive. I want you to speak out. Let us say this together, all of us, so no one gets picked out. I forgive. Let's proclaim. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. Those that hurt me. I bless them. I am now free. I am now free. I am free. Their bondage is broken. Their curse is broken. Hallelujah. 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 I sense freedom. Mama. 
I don't know where you are. Somebody has been set free. This has troubled you for many years. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus is renovating you on the inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a big applause. Amen, amen, amen. The sweet presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. Oh, we thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your love, your favor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He has healed many, many, many people here. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you are finding, are going to find out as you go. Just as the ten lepers went, as they went, they felt the healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Some of them got it immediately. Some of them got it and they're going to have those symptoms gone as they go. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. We're going to call for more testimonies when you come next Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing. Oh, Jesus, we thank you for your sweet presence in this place. Oh, Jesus, we love your presence in this place, God. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this blessed evening. We thank you, Lord, for the man of God you sent into this place. To bring times of refreshing into our hearts. Thank you, Jesus, for the, for the, for the purpose for which you sent him for. He's a sent one today, Father, into this ministry. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing our bodies and taking away all those emotional situations that we have had in our lives. Thank you, Father, for every good thing that you have blessed us with. Even financial breakthroughs. Thank you, Jesus, financial breakthroughs. Those blocks are removed in the name of Jesus Christ. We call the finances to be released from the north, from the east, from the west, from the south. Every block be broken right now and the finances come in Jesus' name. Oh Jesus, we exalt you, we Your praise you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing. Oh, thank you for the emotional healings of God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Your presence is so sweet. As we go away, we are going to sense the presence of the Lord. All the way through. Something new has happened in your life. Something new happened to me personally. I'm testifying. I'm refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Oh, Jesus is great. Thank you, Father. We exalt you. We give you glory. We give you praise. Due to your holy name. Due to your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. A free book. If you have not received, Jerry Sewell Ministries has given us some books. The Force of Joy. That's in Sinhalese only. Jerry Sewell Mahatya Force of joy. Yeah, we were gifted 3, books. We got it translated here, and then uh, if you have never had that book before, you can take one free of charge. We have some other books also for sale, but if you have not had any one of those books. God bless you. We have our services here at 8 o'clock in the morning in Sinhalese. And also we have the English meeting at 
ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> ඔබ ඔබ ඇත්තටම ස්වාමීන් වහන්සේට දීමනාවක් දෙන්න ඕනේ කියලා හිතනවා නම් you are free to do so ඔබට නිදහස තිබෙනවා ඒක කරන්න you can put it to the box you can come to him personally and hand it over you are giving it to jesus පෙට්ටියට දාන්න පුළුවන් නැත්නම් පුද්ගලික හමුලා ඔහුගේ අතට දෙන්න පුළුවන් ඔබ මේක දෙන්නේ යේසුස් වහන්සේටයි god bless you ඔබට දෙවි පිහිටයි